Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm Captain Paul and today we're going to be looking at puzzle books, which is a, a broad niche but highly profitable. Now my name's Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it and that's your money I'm talking about. And if you like videos like that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to smash the notification bell to receive notifications when I produce more videos like this. If you do like the video, give it a thumbs up, very much appreciated. So this was a request from a subscriber who asked me to look at the puzzle book niche and in particular the keywords. So we're going to look at the, the puzzle book niche. We're going to look at the, the different types the, or the sub niches within the, the broad niche. Quick look at the potential profitability, the competition, where you can create the interiors for some of these books. And then lastly, and more importantly, look at the keywords that can be used in these books. So puzzle books. Now these have a, a broad um, spectrum of customers and they can be designed for children, adults, in particular elderly and things like large print. They can be a collection of different puzzles or they can just be individual puzzle type books. So there's very um, many sub niches within the general puzzle book niche and we're going to come and look at those. Now, if we have a look on Amazon and just put in puzzle books, we'll see that the 70,000 results, which means this particular keyword is highly competitive. So you wouldn't really want to go for this keyword. You'd want to, you know, uh, create a, a, a long tail keyword, something that was a bit less competitive, but still profitable. And we can see how profitable puzzle books are by looking at the best sellers ranks. We've got here 1,348, 31. 79 these would be selling thousands a month 2598 so very profitable but with this short tail keyword highly competitive so what i'm going to do is just have a look at the different sub niches the different types of puzzles and puzzle books you can create where you can make the interiors or get the interiors for these books and as I said earlier, look at the keywords. So the first one I wanted to look at, uh, which is a popular one, and that's word search puzzles. Now, putting word search books into Amazon, got 10,000 results. Again, highly competitive for this short tail keyword. But stick around towards the latter part of the video because I'll, I'll give you examples of some long tail keywords that you could use which have less competition. So let's have a look at this. We can see these are selling well again. 16,000 bestsellers rank, 13,596, 241. So a great potential niche to go into. So where could you get interiors for these sorts of books? Well, there is a piece of software called Puzzle Book Mastery by a chap called Ken Blutman. Now, this is a one-off payment of $27 but it allows you to produce um, a few different types of word puzzles, including word searches, word matches, word scrambles, cryptograms, and Sudokus. And for these, you would need to upload a list of words yourself as a text file, which you can then um, create these particular word puzzles from. So you may ask, well, where can I get these lists of words? Well, there's a couple of uh, websites that I like to use. One is education.info. Now, don't worry, in the description below, I'm going to put all these links to these different websites so you don't need to remember them right now. And these give lists of sort of general knowledge words, specialist words, but words that you can use in um, general knowledge quizzes. And these lists can be used, you know, you copy them, put them into a text file, upload them, and you've got your word search puzzles sorted. Another site I like to use is Listverse. As the name suggests, this gives you lists of words related to various topics. And you can see here, top 10 songs with dark backstories, top 10 hacks to make your home awesome. Not all of them would be appropriate for doing in word searches, but you'll find lots of useful resources there. There is another option, but this is a subscription software. I don't use it myself, 
but I did come across it some time ago and I think it's $9.99 per month and with this software you can create Sudoku puzzles, crossword puzzles and again our word search puzzles. The only difference between this and the puzzle book mastery is that with this one you can create crossword puzzles. But don't worry, I'm going to show you a great free site where you can create um, crosswords. So we come over then to Sudoku puzzles. And again, Sudoku puzzle books, short tail keywords, 6,000 results, so a bit too competitive unless you're going to start looking at Amazon ads. But the best sellers ranks for these are good, 88,000, 4,000, 3,600, 861, 3,905, 425. So again, selling thousands per month. And in order to produce these interiors, well, we've just looked at Puzzle Book Mastery. You can do Sudokus and they have easy, medium and hard levels. And these are so easy to create. All you do is say we go for easy, click on the number of pages you want. We'll just go for 20 and click on make puzzles. And this will output to a PDF file. And it's as simple as that. These are ready to download to your computer. And then you can just basically um, upload them to KDP. What I would actually do is... Um, download them and then make sure they're formatted to the right size. So if you're doing a six by nine inch book or a 8.5 by 11 inch book, I would just format them to the correct size. If you go to Google, you can find free Sudoku generators, but really this is the probably the cheapest, simplest and quickest method of producing them that I've found. Now, if you watched last week's video, I did a video on dot to dot books. I'll put the link above there and you will see from that last video that dot to dot books, again, are very lucrative. Just the dot to dot books keyword brings up 10,000 results. Again, you're going to need to niche down a bit, get longer tail keywords, but excellent bestsellers ranks 21,000, 24,000, 13,000, 6,600, 12,000. So all good bestsellers ranks that would produce, um, give you a nice income. Now, where could you get the dot to dot book interiors? Well, as last week, I showed you this website, Picture Dots, where you upload an image and then you trace around with your mouse and produce dot to dot pictures, which you can then save as a PDF or just copy and paste into something like Keynote or PowerPoint. Now, Ken Blutman does have a software solution for this. He has something called Kids Puzzle Books software, and that can be found at kidspuzzlebooks.com, link below. This one costs $37. It's very similar to Puzzle Book Mastery that he produces, but it's more geared towards kids. And this piece of software allows you to do um, dot to dot interiors as well. Now, a very broad niche, as you probably can understand, would be crossword puzzle books. Now, these are very broad indeed, and again, 10,000 competitors, very highly competitive, excellent bestsellers ranks. Now I said I would give you a piece of software where you can create these and this is at crosswordlabs.com. Now I love this piece of software, it's free, but if you want to use the crosswords in your books, it asks that you pay the $9.95 fee and that will give you the commercial license to to use these as many as you like and I think that's really good value for money and and the way you would do this in this box here it says need to see an example here we are you'd put in your answer followed by a space followed by the clue and it will generate 
your crossword. Now what I do like about this is on the right hand side you've got this search box and you can search for a niche. So let's put in dinosaur. You can search and it's got cross, uh, crosswords that people have already put clues into. So it will generate your own um, individual crossword with these clues. So if we click on this here you can see that we've got the crossword and all the clues here and again you can um, click up here we can get a word PDF version which we can there we are which we can then um, copy download put into a keynote PowerPoint file to create our interiors now one of the beauties of paying that nine dollars ninety five is that you will get the solutions to these crosswords as well which you can then put in the back of your puzzle book so I love that piece of software software it's free to use you can still download the puzzles that you create but it does say that if you want to use them commercially pay the nine dollars ninety five and put an attribution in your book so the next type of puzzle book, if I can find it here, is mazes, maze puzzle books. In that short tail keyword, results 3000, still a bit competitive. If you watched any of my videos on keyword research, you'll see that I'll, I prefer search results of 1000 or less if I'm going to attack that particular keyword. But this one would be easy to niche down, something like maze puzzle books for kids, dinosaur uh, maze books for kids something like that but you can see great bestsellers ranks again so there's lots of potential here in this niche and to create these mazes there's this software here called mazegenerator.net link below in description and again this is a piece of software that i love really easy to create individual unique mazes which again free to create but if you want to use them in your books you'll need to get a, a license now the cost for unlimited mazes with an attribution which is where you just need to put a link um, or just say in your book you know um, produced with mazegenerator.net software or I think it tells you licensed here we go you've got to write in license from mazegenerator.net now it is 89 euros or 97 dollars 94 cents for that but you know if you're investing in your business and you want to produce one of these types of books it's a great solution and really easy to produce you can have you just choose your options here so let's just produce a, a maze. We'll put these details in here. Generate new. Bang. And now we've got our, our maze. And you can download that as a various PDF sizes or PNG or SVG file. SVG you could then put into your uh, vector uh, editing software, Illustrator, Gravit, Inkscape. And make changes if you wish or what I would do is add in other graphics around the maze make it look a bit different perhaps put a, a figure of a dinosaur here and maybe some food at the bottom here and put the pattern around the side again put that on the page create something unique something that's appealing to adults and kids to buy and then other different types of puzzles are things like tic-tac-toe and hangman they're usually added within um, collections of, of puzzles books i don't think you would really want you'd be able to sell very well a book full of just tic-tac-toe um, pages tic-tac-toe and hangman pages very easy to create yourself in something like photoshop or illustrator as i said before gravit or inkscape if you don't want to use any of these pieces of software you just want to get it done for you go over to fiverr Put in something like puzzle book or mazes or dot to dot in the search and you'll see there's here we have 111 search results 
the people that will produce your interiors for you. Obviously, there's a fee to pay, so bear that in mind. But if you're already producing books and you're making money, I think investing in your next books is, is vital if you want your business to expand. And if you can outsource the work as well to someone else, again, that's a very good use of your money to expand your business. So something like Fiverr would be, you know, for me, that'd be something I would start to look at as I'm making an income. I don't want, I want to spend my time on doing, you know, research. I prefer to spend money on getting someone to create my interiors. And there's all different types of these activity worksheet designs. I had a look at this in detail earlier. Very interesting indeed. You know, you do have to pay money for these interiors, but would save you so much time in the long term and you're getting something um, professional looking. So have a look around there. They'll also, on Fiverr, you can get covers done for your books as well. So, one of the most important areas that I'm going to come to now and it's important because it enables your books to be found on Amazon, and that's keywords. And what I've done, similar to what I did last week for my dot to dot books, I've done a list of keywords. We've got 86 keywords here. Now, these keywords are words that are found on Amazon in the search bar. Why are they important? Because one, they appear in the, the drop down, I'll quickly show you. They appear on Amazon in the drop down. So, say we put puzzle books there, you can see they appear here in the drop down. And what that means is these words are already being searched for on Amazon. So, you know, people are searching for these words. But also, when someone searches on Amazon, these search terms appear. So, people are going to tend to click on these. So finding these words that are, that are on the drop down on Amazon is very important. And I tend to use these as my um, keywords in the titles and subtitles of my books. And it seems to work very well. So I've got a list here of 86 keywords that were found in the drop downs when I've been looking at things like puzzle books, crossword puzzle books, Sudoku, um, word search puzzle books. And there's a list here of the competition. So if you search for these, it'll give you these competition numbers. And a lot of these words are competitive, but a lot of these words, you can put them into the Amazon search bar and expand even further with the, the drop down um, results that appear. So I'd advise doing that. For instance, if we look here, let's say puzzle book elderly. Now we've got one here. Let's go over to Amazon, put in puzzle book, see if that brings any further ones. No, that doesn't bring any further ones into the drop down. So let's have a look at another one. Well, let's say for uh, word search. So you take one of those keywords, put it in. You're going to get more options. It's going to expand it more. So a lot of these keywords here, you can expand yourself. But it's useful because I've done the I've put each keyword that I've found here in the list. I put each keyword's competition. So you want to aim for those with lower competition, particularly ones like these here, where it says logic puzzle book for teens, where the search results are less than a thousand. They're ones that I like to to investigate further. And in this column, we've got the search volume for these words on Google. So if you find a word that's not as competitive and has searches on Google, that's an indication that this might be a, a, a good profitable keyword to go for. So this takes a bit of time to do and I've uploaded this in a PDF version, an Excel file version and a .csv version to Gumroad. I'll put the link down below for these keywords so you can get all these keywords yourself. Now, I've put a price on it of $1, but if you use this discount code here, you can get it for free. But if you do pay for it, I appreciate it very much. It helps fund this channel and also helps fund the work I did to put in to doing this keyword list and it will save you a lot of time, believe me. 
So that's it for now. I hope you found that useful. Make sure you click the subscription uh, button and also smash that notification bell. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And until next time, I'll see you again. Bye-bye.